Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, got B from Droner, Kelly from Ready Set Drone, and today we have the Fly Fly, Fleet or Fleet. Some, he's calling it the Flea Flea. Flea, Flea. Uh, it's called the AirDrop. This thing is designed to allow you to drop things from your drone, as long as that drone is a Phantom 3, Phantom 4, or Phantom 4 Pro. And we took it out and tested it, and we're going to tell you what we think, so stay tuned. <laughs> All right, coming back to it, we've got the Flea Flea, and we're going to call it the Flea Flea because we've been calling that all day, calling it that all day, it sticks. and it sticks. It and sticks. It's fun to say. It's actually Flea Flea is just kind of fun to say. Press the Flea Flea. It just works. So this thing, um, this thing allows you to drop stuff, and I will tell you, it is a lot of fun. We've had a lot of fun with it. Too much and fun. We, yeah, we'll you see some of the video. Uh, but we also um, realized that this thing could potentially cause some problems. So you've got to be careful. So we're going to help you avoid those things. But let's check it out before we get into all that. I did it slowly because I knew you still had things to say. Yeah, but no, I couldn't help myself. Pull it out. There we go. What all do you right. got? So we just open up the box. And as you can see, things roll out. Um, we already did play with this. So this is not an official unboxing um, or anything like that. We put everything back in it how it came. Um, you get the quick start guide. Bam. Um, some cords and stuff to charge stuff. Whatever. Um, but what really matters are these three things right here. Which is the heart of the Flea Flea. Yeah, it's the heart of the Flea Flea. So, uh, I, and I'm looking at the instructions because I was trying to figure out if this thing actually uses Bluetooth or Wi Fi or. That's a good or, question. Uh, it says it goes 1,000 feet. 2.8 gigahertz, or it doesn't actually say what the technology is. Um, yeah, and Bluetooth wouldn't go. No, it says 1,000 meters. It says a oh, thousand, thousand meters. So that's, that's almost a, that's that's six, point, six, point six. Uh, six tenths of a mile yeah. um, or a kilometer, right? Thousand yeah. meters is a mm -hmm. kilometer. So, uh, so it goes a kilometer or six tenths of a mile away, which is a pretty good distance. It is. Now, what's really what I really like about this is that they designed it for DJI users, and what they did is they actually put the battery meters on these things that are the same as the DJI. Um, so you press it, and it gives you the reading of how your battery's doing. This one's doing horribly. That one's doing great. Yeah. Um, and to start it up, same thing as the DJI. Yeah, press it once press, and then press again and, and then hold. it starts. So it charges via USB and I will say, I got this about two weeks ago and uh, have been waiting till uh, these guys were in town to actually shoot this video. And I, um, I charged these two weeks ago, um, both of them, and this has still got plenty of juice. This died on us today when we were shooting and we actually had to plug it into a portable battery. Yep. But so, but it makes sense. This probably has a bigger battery in it with more milliamp hours and more capacity. This has a smaller one. But I will say, this thing is actually quite lightweight. It is. It's actually, like, that's one thing when I first picked this up, I was like, this looks like it's going to be light. Yeah, it you, looks it, heavy. It, it almost looks like a power supply for a computer, like a Mac power supply. And yeah. those are heavy. Yeah, they are. And it looks a lot like that. And what's really weird is that the way that this works is that you have this little space. This, all, this, all this stuff, all these things come together to that, you just saw it. There's one space right here. In this space, there's a little metal rod that you press that button, and it just moves the rod. Now, you're like, OK, what's the big deal there? Well, this thing has been designed to fit onto the back of a Phantom. And this rod, if you press that button, will hold whatever you want it to hold and release it. And you as, would long as, it, as long as it fits in there. As long as it fits inside of this. So this is the pretty much as long as something can hook into this or tie to this, to whatever this little rod is right here, you can move that, pull it off, release it, and now you have things dropping from the sky. Um, obviously. Um, we'll have to talk about the dangers of that in a minute. Um, but this is really cool. When it was just like, as a, as a kid, that my inner kid, I'm just like, yo, so like put, put water your, balloons are about to go Put down. your tongue in there. Put my tongue? My tongue? You want your tongue pierced? Uh, not, no, not so much. <laughs> okay. But you can put your finger in there if you want. So yeah, I wouldn't put anything in this, uh, like, because it, it, it closes pretty hard, it looks like. But I don't think it'll really hurt you, to be honest. Cause, like, I don't we, think We had so it closing some stuff yeah. earlier, and it just stops. Yeah. Um, Plus, so you might break it, so. So for the installation, as you can see, our lovely assistant, <laughs> our lovely assistant, uh, Kelly, is actually installing this onto the back of the drone. Really easy to do. This, uh, it fits into the back, and it just sits there on the, on pretty much on the space that it looks like was provided for something like this. Yeah. On the yeah, bottom of the open a, space. Up, yeah. And this wouldn't really work. I mean, the, the thing that's unique, this probably wouldn't work well with a Mavic. A, a Mavic doesn't have as much lifting power. Yeah. But, but B, the, the landing gear for Phantom is just kind of set up for this. It's yeah. It's rigid. It's, it's got lots of open space. I will tell you a little word of warning that there are several ways it will sort of go on. So if you're if it's going on and you're like, hey, this is sort of working, it's not right. Oh, you're not right. You, yeah. you, you, it goes on one way that is correct. And so you want to make sure that you get it the correct way because otherwise you're going to have uh, problems with the camera getting blocked and it just it really just won't fit but one way. So um, so just take that into account. But it's one of those things where you, you could get it close and you think you're right, um, but close isn't work for this. It, there's only one way it'll go on. You'll, you'll see in the video. 
Um, so yes, like he was saying, pros and cons. We're going to talk about that, and we actually wrote a list for that. Yeah. Um, so we're going to start out with positive. Yep. Um, the thing that I was really concerned about with this is that this was going to block my camera view. Um, obviously, it's a, it's a camera drone, and if you're looking to drop something from it, you're still going to. I'm going to want a camera view of that. Yeah. I want to see whatever gets hit get hit. Um, and it doesn't block the camera view at all. Nope. Not even a little bit. No, nope. it's um, out of the way. It's completely out of this itself. Now, what you hang from this yeah. might block yeah. the camera view. You'll see that in yeah. the video. And you will see that in the video. You'll see the thing hanging, but that's kind of what I want. I want to yeah, see the yeah, thing hanging from yeah. the bottom, so that's really good. Um, what's the, what else we have? Oh, yeah, so it's, as we said a moment ago, it's surprisingly lightweight, um, and we'll, I'll weigh it and uh, find out and put that up on the screen, but just keep yeah. in mind, even though it looks like a brick for a power supply for your computer, it's not. It's, it's much lighter than It that. is much lighter than it looks. Uh, it's plastic. It feels pretty well built. Yeah. And I have to say, you know, even the, even the build on this is pretty decent. You know, I wouldn't take this out in real cold weather because this might snap. Right. Uh, but the build on this is decent. The build on that is pretty decent. And then finally, it is super dead easy to use. Now, see, this, this light is red again. That means so it's I'm going to push that button. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, so the red light means it's closed, open. Uh, oh, green light means it's that's what it is. Mm. Yeah, so it yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Sorry. I, I'm, mm. But so, so there's another indicator. So if you're flying it and you're not sure if it's open or closed, you can look down at your remote and see. Or you can see if it's still holding something. Yeah, well, <laughs> if, if, if you thought you opened it, but it didn't fall. Like yeah, yeah, the point. Oh, that's right, you're right. You know, yeah. uh, so you're like, I thought I opened it. Oh, no, it's still green, so it's open. Or it's All closed. Right. Anyway. So let's, let's, talk, let's move on to the, uh, the big deal. The, the cons. cons. So we did something super dope earlier. Uh, what we did, and you can see it in a separate video, mm -hmm. is we did uh, drone darts with this. And it was, it was windy. Um, trademark 2017. <laughs> uh, it was a great trademark, yep, drone, drone darts. darts. Um, it was awesome. We had a really good time. It was a lot of fun. Doesn't matter who wins, we all had a good time. Um, and <laughs> we played it, and this was instrumental for that. But we learned about some of the, the pitfalls of this. Yeah, so learned? first of all, um, you can get stuff caught in the in the drone in yes. the camera uh, potentially if it's long enough uh, propellers we had a parachute little parachute man mm -hmm. um, rest in peace no, who, that poor, uh, that poor yeah, brother he's, he's gone yeah watch the video um, you'll see it's anyway it's uh, they can't it can get caught and we actually had a fairly um, fairly scary moment mm -hmm. where the the um, the parachute was originally packed, right? And so we, it was going to pack, and, and we did it several times, and it worked fine. Yep. Um, it, it, the parachute came out, so yeah. the parachute man's hanging there. He's got the parachute blowing. Well, it's really windy, and so the wind starts catching the parachute, and the, the drone starts. Well, first, it's just kind of like getting pulled a little bit. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. eh, it's okay. It's not going to kill anything. What did I say at that he, point? He told me, release the parachute. <laughs> I, I was said, like, immediately hold on, release man. Let me, let, me, let me get over my target, because I, I wanted to release in the right spot. And then, within 10 seconds, my drone's going, woo, woo. And I'm like, uh-oh, release the parachute. Yes. And guess what? The flea flea release. Worked, worked it worked. Perfectly. It worked. Yeah. It, it did release it. Um, but that's a huge uh, security for your drone and safety issue is we could have lost the drone because yeah. um, we had a big drag, a big wind, and it's spinning the drone uh, almost out of control. Yeah. Um, if you yeah. wouldn't have released it, it could have been a very real issue. So be very, very careful of whatever you're going to be putting to this. If you're going to fly something like a parachute, make sure it's packed tight so yeah. that when, when it's not, so it doesn't catch a bunch of wind. Don't fly something that's going to act like a sail or a parachute, like always, a parachute. Yeah, always be ready to, to drop whatever's in there. Yeah. Um, and, and yeah, that's a good point is have this thing ready so if something's a, if something's a problem, you know, it's, I'd rather lose a parachute, a toy parachute, than a drone. And on that note, um, one other thing that was kind of, uh, that kind of sucked is, like I said, it was windy for us today. And one thing that was definitely noticeable is that uh, this actually def this added wind resistance to the drone. Mm -hmm. So the wind would blow without anything attached to it. With either. nothing attached to it, because as you can see, it's a square. It's a block. And yeah. It's blocking the whole. And it's whole, vertical. Yeah, and it's vertical in the drone, and it's blocking like it pretty much picks up a bunch of wind. So the drone doesn't is not as stable as it normally is when the wind hits it. It just like it moves a lot more yeah. in space. It doesn't make it so you feel like your drone you're gonna lose it. You're just like oh okay, it's not flying like it yeah. normally would. Yeah, I'd say it's like a maybe five to ten percent difference. Yeah, five to ten percent difference. But it was but, something that we both noticed. Yep, like I flew it, sure. and I was like I noticed it. And he noticed it. Too. Even after you drop the payload, uh, you could still feel that it wasn't quite, and it's a little extra weight too. Yeah, it is. It you is. Know, so your balance might be off a little bit. And mm -hmm. So, yeah, and then um, the the battery life on this remote is as not you can great. see by the example. We've, we've got it plugged in right now, and again, I had a full charge on it. But I, I in fairness, I did let it sit for about two weeks. Yeah, um, I didn't. I didn't recharge it last night like I should have. We and have again, more testing thanks to, to do. our producer, saved the day with uh, with a portable battery. So. Yeah. 
if you bring a little portable uh, USB battery charger, you'll be set. Yeah. Um, and and battery life, just to be clear too, battery life on this thing has been great. Yeah. This right. is one. This is this was charged two weeks ago, and it's still showing showing four bars. So and the point the point with the battery stuff is number one that the remote doesn't seem to last too long. This one seems to be okay. But then number two, uh, unlike DJI's batteries, which I think are intelligent batteries and pretty well designed mm -hmm. uh, for these things. I wouldn't trust these little bars. We took it out, had three three bars, had three and bars. then it was dead in like 15 minutes. Yes. And so, to, you know, like 20 or 30 presses. Cause yeah. So, so ultimately, what what that means is that um, you should just charge it. If you're going to use it the next day, charge it the night before. Yeah. It says it only takes 90 minutes for a full charge, actually. So, and I imagine that's for this. I imagine this is even shorter. I would say so. Um, yeah. And the other thing that the other issue that we had is that. Um, after it gets going and it's warmed up, like every single time you press it, as you can see. Oh, actually, I just. Yeah. That, now, see, it just opened yeah. and closed. Did it? Now, see, I'm pressing it now. So, pretty much what we're showing you right now is that it's pretty reliable for the most part. I, I but sometimes, like right now, you just pressed it, it doesn't close every time. It's going to close eventually. See? Yeah, see, that took two presses. So, um, so, let's see. That one worked. I think you have to wait. Wait. There you go. Wait till it changes. It's okay. blinking. Change. But, see? Yep. I pressed it there and it yeah. didn't work. Yeah, so maybe, you know, maybe what it is, maybe it needs a little bit of time. Maybe there's some sort of capacitor in there that needs to, to recharge and, you know, yeah. expel. I don't know. But Either the point way, being that if you push it in rapid su succession, it's not it, doesn't, it doesn't go super fast, number no. one. And number two, there were a few times today during our tests where we had to press it more than once to get it to work. Yep. Not ten times, but like two or three times, and it was like, okay, now it's working again. Yep. Um, but overall, like I, I love this thing already. Like we, I had a ball today. Like we got really yeah. creative with it. Um, I, I, I came up with this idea that we were going to play this thing, um, and it turned out being really fun. Yeah, you got to watch that video. It's so good. Um, kind of. I mean, you know, whatever. The, I'm just thinking of the poor man that we lost. That's all. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking of, guys. Mr. Mr. Pink. Mr. Pink. Yep. Yeah, that poor brother. Yep. Um, so yeah, but this is overall. Um, I think if you are looking to play something like drone darts in that video. Um, Water this balloons. Is, this um, is the best thing that I've seen. Like, I actually, yeah. the funny thing is, I had that idea for the drone darts a long time ago, and to be a drop stuff from drones, and I looked into it. Um, and there are different ways to do this, but this is by far the easiest system um, that I've seen, is because all the other ones is like, you know, the remote trigger. So that's another big, big con is uh, this again doesn't mess with any of the sensors on the drones. Really well designed for that. But when you have something hanging under the Phantom 4 Pro or any other drones that have a downward sensor, the Phantom, uh, the Phantom 3 Pro and all that, they all have that. The Phantom 3, I mean, excuse me, the Phantom 4 has a downward sensor too. Um, it makes it so that you cannot descend. Um, yep. I had that issue when I was flying it yep. earlier, is that one of the darts that we had was flying under the drone or laying under the drone, and it would not descend because it thought it was already close to the ground. It was just like, And, and the remote had died, so we couldn't release the dart. Yeah, so I actually had to creatively fly. We had to come up with it. I had to creatively fly into the wind at high speed, wild accelerating, so it flew it back. So, and yeah, so the thing went backwards, and we yep. were able to go down. It and was then, not. And then I hand caught it. Yeah, you had to hand I, catch I it. I did. Yeah, it was um, like slow motion matrix yeah. stuff. It was kind of cool. Laid out for it like a frisbee. <laughs> so, so that is another point, is those downward sensors, uh, depending on what you have, how you have it mounted and yep. how big it is, you could have interference with the downward sensor. So be aware of that. You I'm should, glad, yeah, glad, thank glad you for remember that. Yeah, <laughs> definitely be aware of that. That was because it's like your drone's just sitting there and there. And you're like, what am I gonna do? You know, like if you're flying up and dropping something, th then you're fine. Then it's clear, you yep. know, and you can come back down. But but if you if, if you, you have to land, if your remote it, dies, yeah. and you have to try to land. You're in and, trouble. And it didn't seem to happen every time because because I know I went up and then I came back down a little bit with darts. Mm -hmm. It was worse with the parachute, I think, because the parachute had more volume. It had more volume underneath and yeah. it was making a blocker. So anyway, yes. Anyway. I think if you want to drop something from a drone, um, this respectfully and safely, I imagine water balloons will be a ball with this. Yeah. Um, you know, like, uh, song, was it Songkran? Is that what it's called, Tony? I guarantee this is going to happen to Songkran. Um, you know, know Songkran? Uh -uh. Oh, so Songkran is a water festival in uh, Southeast Asia where they just spray, like, they spend a whole weekend just like spraying each other. Everybody gets wet. Nice. Everybody gets wet. Nice. Old people, young people, it's amazing. Wow. Um, Songkran is amazing. Um, and that would be super dope to be able to do it from the sky. Yeah. But all that aside, um, I think this is something that's worth playing with if you want to play with it. The price tag uh, is $249.99. Yep. Um, would you say that's worth it? Uh, if you have a specific use for it, if you wanted to create an effect for a film you were making, or if you were having a party and you wanted to be able to drop water balloons, again, you know, being safe and, and not flying over people is important, but 
Yeah, if, you, if you're going to use it, um, if I bought it and was just going to sit sit on the shelf and only use it one time, no, it's no. not worth it. But but if you if you are a creative person who uh, has a drone and is into flying and has, or if you know you need to deliver medical supplies, I mean, it could be used for good things too, right? I agree. Um, so so yeah, it does what it does really well. There's probably a very small percentage of people in this world that actually need to do what it does. Yeah. But if you're one of those people, or if you want to do what it does, then it's a good way to do it. Or if you just have a streak of mischief in you, um, and you want to do that responsibly and fun. Yeah. Then this is you know, this is yeah. the opportunities are endless. As fleefly you away. Say. Yeah. Fleefly away. So good job, Fleefly. Um, it was a lot of fun. We're going to be having a lot more fun with it. Yep. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed to Droner, you should. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed to Ready Set Drone. Uh, don't drop the ball. Subscribe. Ha. Wow. Uh, and uh, we'll put a link to this for to buy it on Amazon in the description, and we will see you next time on these two awesome channels. Bam. Stay fly.